has issued a 14-day ultimatum to the United Nations Agency on Refugees to close down the Dab and Kakuma refugee camps. Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi told the United Nations High Commissioner, representative to Kenya, that there was no more room for negotiations. On its part, the UNHCR insists that they will continue with dialogue with the Kenyan government to keep the camps. For close to five years now, the government of Kenya has been mulling a plan to repatriate refugees from the Dadaab and Kakuma refugee camps back to their countries of origin. The government says that the two camps, accommodating more than half a million refugees, have become sleeper cells for terrorists, thus rendering them a huge national security threat posed by some refugees. Kenya made good her threat Tuesday when Interior CS Fred Matiangi told UNHCR representative to Kenya, Fadia Abdallah, that the agency had been given 14 days to close shop in Dadaab and Kakuma amid simmering tensions between Kenya and Somalia over the maritime border row between the two countries. <laughs> Foreign Affairs Principal Secretary Masharia Kamau has mocked the Somalia government saying that 30 years on, there is no end in sight to end the refugee crisis in Somalia with 2 million refugees still in Kenya, either in camps or integrated. In a series of tweets, Masharia says the United Nations and UNHCR need to seek suitable and sustainable solutions to self-inflicted refugee crises from Somalia, not Kenya. He goes on to say that Somalia, unlike refugees, source country, has no external enemy to drive refugee crisis. He opines that everything in Somalia is self-inflicted. In a quick rejoinder, UNHCR says it is concerned about the impact this decision would have on the protection of refugees, including in the context of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The agency says it will continue their dialogue with the Kenyan authorities on this issue. Further, the agency has urged the government to ensure that any decisions to allow for suitable and sustainable solutions to be found and that those who continue to need protection are able to receive it. The decision by the government to close the camps will indubitably exacerbate the already strained relationship between Nairobi and Mogadishu. Mwangi Maina, TV47, Nairobi.